So here is how to use Apple Pencil Eraser. And you've probably seen someone switch to the eraser in a very cool way with their Apple Pencil, so here is how they've done it. So you of course will need the second generation of the Apple Pencil, not the one which charges through the lightning connector. And if you are in notes and you are scribbling something, you just can double tap the side of the Apple Pencil and it switches to the eraser and if you double tap it again it switches back to the tool that you were using before. Of course, you can manually select the eraser icon and trigger it this way, but this is obvious and the double tap gesture is really intuitive because you don't need to stop your workflow to trigger it. So this gesture is really cool and works well. To a degree at least. So here you can see exactly in which area you should be double tapping the side of the Apple Pencil. So it should be somewhere closer to the tip where you usually rest your hand. So uh, it's, um, I mean, of course it should be used and it's designed to be used really easily without stretching your fingers too much. There are, however, different things that can be changed when it comes to this feature, like you can customize what happens when you double tap the side of the Apple Pencil. So if you go to the settings on your iPad, on the left side you should see the Apple Pencil section, and if not, then you can always search for it at the top in the search bar. So you open up the Apple Pencil section, and there are some things that you can customize, of course. Namely, what happens when you double tap um, the Apple Pencil. So of course, the first option is to switch to the eraser from the previously used tool, and then switch back. The second option is to switch from the previously used uh, tool to the one that you're currently using and back and forth. And the third one is to show color palettes. I'm not sure if that's particularly useful, but it's uh, there. And the fourth option is to turn it off completely. You should also know that uh, this doesn't work everywhere. And it of course works in the official Notes app on the iPad, like uh, naturally because it's from Apple, but it also works with third-party apps, but they have to include it in their code, they have to make sure that it does work. But those popular apps like Notability, GoodNotes, definitely support it and it's there to be used with the Apple Pencil, like GoodNotes and Notability are probably the best apps which you can use, so it would be a shame if they didn't support it. But uh, the limitations are definitely there, as you can see there are only three options of what things could happen when you double tap the Apple Pencil. But until the next software release, we cannot expect any new things being added, like if you take a look at it, the, the developer notes, you're going to find out that there are only these four options integrated into coding the app, so there is literally no uh, option for the developers to support any other things. Like, it's not they wouldn't want to, they just can't. Like, you can see there is the option to ignore. Switch Eraser is a function which you can see that it switches at that, switch previous, and show color palette. So that's the only things that can be triggered with the Apple Pencil. Well, at least as of right now, like you can see that uh, the software, the iPad OS is getting a lot better and more comparable to the Mac OS, so there are always new features added. And back when the Apple Pencil second generation was released, there were already rumors that it could do a lot more than it usually does. Back in 2020, some websites, including 9to5Mac for example, included some articles in which they talk about some rumors in which it stated that you could use a lot more things with your Apple Pencil tab gesture. Like, you, you can see, and I'm probably gonna link it down below in the description, you can see that the touch sensor could be used to detect single tab, double tab, triple tab, and another tab gesture by the user, and it could even trigger the camera and other different things. Like, it would be really great to have such degree of freedom to, to modify to however we want it, but, and also it could use uh, to detect a rolling gesture by the user, so this can include a movement of a finger about a circumference of the housing and or rolling movement on of the housing, so there are definitely some things which could be integrated to the Apple Pencil, like the hardware is there, only software limitations exist and prevent us from using the Apple Pencil to its full potential. So these are the things that Apple has patented to, so uh, this pretty much means that they can integrate it at any time pretty much. And I'm not sure how you would update the, the software of the Apple Pencil or whatever, I'm not sure about that, but 
um, yeah, it should probably be working with the next software releases. I don't think that it's going to be with iPadOS 16 or whatever it's going to be called, but probably later in the future. Anyways, guys, I really do hope that I helped you with this video. In case you found it helpful or at least learned something new, then I would appreciate a thumbs up, especially if you watched this far to the end of the video. And also, if you want to see more content like this in the future, and also want to see some videos pop up on your YouTube page whenever there's anything interesting for you, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss future uploads. Have a great rest of the day, and like I said in my previous Apple Pencil video, enjoy your Apple Pencil.